Karibu sana kwenye kipindi cha nguvu ya injili hapa Pendo TV. Mimi ni mchungaji Festo Njanwe kutoka Shalom Gospel Church kule Chwele. Ningependa tusungumzie tena neno la Mungu kama wakati ule wa mwezi uliopita kuhusu vipimo standard za Mungu ambazo anataka watu wa Mungu watembee nazo. The standard and the quality of his people. Biblia inasema kwamba E, watu wa Mungu duniani ambao leo imejaa upotofu wanang'aa kama nyota they are shining as stars na nataka tuangalie hilo ndilo kusudi la Mungu kwa sababu yeye aliahidi kwamba atakuja kulichukua kanisa ambalo anaweka standard quality kwamba kanisa lisilo na maua wala kunyazi so wakati mwingine kwa sababu ya uharibifu ambao tunakaa ndani wakati mwingine tuna tia shaka of that standard tunafikiria kwamba haiwezekani inawezekana biblia inasema kwamba Yesu Kristo ni Mungu aliyekaa katika katikati yetu biblia inasema kwamba neno alivaa mwili akaishi katikati yetu na tukauona utukufu wake huyo Yesu ndio mwalimu wetu yeye ndio role model ya kanisa na Biblia inasema kwamba mwalimu mwanafunzi hawezi kumzidi mwalimu wake ila mwanafunzi akifundishwa vizuri anaweza kutoshea kama mwalimu wake. Na Biblia inasema standard ya Yesu kwamba alijaribiwa na kila jaribu ambalo wewe umeshawahi jaribiwa and no sin was found in him. That is the standard, the role model ambao Yesu anaweka mbele yetu. Kwa hiyo anaposema kwamba anakuja kulichukua kanisa lisilo na maua wala kunyasi kama standard yake hiyo ndio ukweli barua ya Yohana ya kwanza sura ya tatu mstari wa kwanza Mungu anaeleza hivi kanisa Yohana anaambia hivi kanisa kwamba ni upendo wa namna gani aliyotupa sisi ya kwamba tuitwa wana wa Mungu na ndivyo tulivyo haleluya ya kwamba huo ndio upendo ambao Mungu amelikabidhi kanisa ya kwamba we are the sons of the most high na hivyo ndivyo ilivyo na anaendelea anasema kwamba na ulimwengu haututambui maana haukumtambua Yesu alafu anasema kwamba na kila aliye na tumaini hilo hujitakaza maana yule tunayemtumainia ni mtakatifu basi pale pale anasema kwamba na hatuji jinsi atakavyofanana tutakapomuona tukiwa katika mwili labda hatuwezi kujua vizuri lakini pia kusudi na foundation aliyoweka ndani mwetu Kristo ndani mwetu tumaini la msima linatupa assurance ya kwamba tutakapomuona tutafanana na yeye kwa sababu tutamuona jinsi alivyo So we have that assurance. We have that hope by faith through his word. Ya kwamba siku moja tutamuona na tutakamuona tutafanana na yeye manake tutamuona jinsi alivyo. That is the hope of Christians. Ndio Biblia inaposema kwamba Christ in us ni as the hope of glory. Kristo ndani mwetu tumaini la utukufu hiyo ndio ina kuweka utofauti ya wewe uliyokutana na nguvu za msalaba na wewe ambao hujakutana na nguvu za msalaba ndio neno la Mungu linasema kwamba wale hawawezi kutujua jinsi tulivyo maana wanatuona kama watu wa kawaida of course maisha ya kawaida shughuli za kawaida kufinywa kwa kawaida taabu za kawaida tunapitiamo karibu sisi zote magonjwa yanakuja wakati mwingine na sisi pia tunapigwa lakini Biblia inasema lile tumaini na kusudi la Jehova aliloweka ndani mwetu linaweka ile utofauti wakati mwingine hawezi kututambua maana wao hawakumtambua Yesu God has a standard. God has an expectation. God is waiting for the church. Biblia inasema the spirit says come and the bride say come. Biarusi asema njoo na roho wa Yesu pia asema njoo. Maana biarisi muoni mwaka amengaa, amebeba utayari, muoni mwaka anamngochea. Mwimbaji wa tenzi anasema kwamba ninapoitwa kwenye 
kiti cha hukumu sina hofu moyoni mwangu manake nimevikwa damu ya monakondo ninasikia moyoni mwangu ninayoshauku ya kusema kwamba bwana harusi njoo manake nimebeba utayari ninasikia nimeandaliwa the church is a really thing and that's the standard we are talking about na ndio biblia inasema kwamba msifunganishwe nira sawa sawa na watu wa ulimwengu maana kuna uhusiano gani kati ya balieli na nguvu za Mungu? Kuna uhusiano gani kati ya Mungu na shetani? Kuna uhusiano gani kati ya giza na nuru? We need in this this life to be shining like stars. Neno la Mungu linasema kwamba we are the salt of the world. We are the light of the world. Sisi ndio chumfi ya ulimwengu na sisi ndio this uh, ndio nuru ya ulimwengu. Na anasema kwamba lakini chumfi ikikosa ladha haina faida ila ni ya kutupwa. Kwa hiyo kanisa lasima limakinike liweze kulinda ile chumfi ambayo Mungu anakusudia liibebe. Na neno la Mungu pia linaelezea kwamba kama nuru ndani mwako ni gisa basi gisa ndani mwako ina ni ya kiwango gani? Kwa hiyo kanisa kila wakati lazima lisimame liwe counted as the light of the world. Sisi ndio tunayosimama kueleza makusudi ya Mungu ndio Biblia inasema kwamba we are ambassadors of Christ in this life. Sisi ndio tunayemwakilisha Kristo katika haya maisha. Sisi ndio tunayosema Kristo ndio huyu anafanana hivi ndio sura ya Mungu. Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu hulinda kanisa lake kama vile mtu anavyochunga mboni ya jicho lake. Mungu hako concerned with his church. God is so concerned with his church. Mungu anajua kwamba pahali pa kukanyaga mguu wake duniani ni kanisani so the church must be alert to God and to represent God in this life. Hiyo ndio standard Mungu anayoisumumuzia. Kwa hiyo tunaona Isaya chapter 62 verse 1. Isaya analia. Anasema for Zion's sake I will not be silent and for Jerusalem's sake I will not keep quiet until her righteousness goes forth like brightness and her salvation like a torch that is burning. Anasema kwamba mimi kama aliyekabidhiwa jukumu la kuleta kusudi la Mungu, kutangaza habari za Mungu kwa sababu ya nyumba ya Jehova, kwa sababu ya kanisa la Mungu, kwa sababu ya Jerusalem, sitanyamaza na sitatulia mpaka nuru yake itakapongaa mpaka utakatifu wake utakapoonekana kama mwanga hiyo ndio standard ambayo ameweka Isaya sura ya 62 na anasema in verse 10 anasema go through go through the gates clear the way for the people build up build up the highway remove the stones lift up a standard over the people Isaiah anaweka standard Anasema enda fanya kasi shughulika safisha kila kona safisha watu wa Mungu jenga jenga hata barabara kuu ondoa mawe ondoa kisingira kisingiti inua viwango vya watu wa Mungu lift up the standards The church is supposed to be lifted up as a standard. Kiwango watu wanapoliona kanisa wanamuona Mungu. Wanaona enzi za Jehova. And that's why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 5, ya kwamba when Moses was going to erect a tabernacle, Musa alipokuwa anaenda kuweka hema. Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu alimuonya God warned him, make sure as you erect a tabernacle Make sure that you erect the tabernacle according to what you saw while you are on the mountain. Kulingana na mfano ulipo ulioona mlimani. Hivi ni kumaanisha kwamba kanisa is exact representation of the kingdom of God. Kanisa ni mfano wa ufalme wa Mungu pale Mungu anapokaa. And that's the standard God is talking about here. Ndiye anaambia Musa Biblia inasema and God warned him make sure hakikisha unaweka hema kulingana na mfano uliouona ulipokuwa mlimani Musa 
alipokuwa mlimani siku 40 Mungu alimpa macho yake ya ndani akafunguka kuona enzi yake ufalme wake pahali anapokaa and that is the pattern Mungu alitaka iwekwe hata kwenye hekalu lake iwekwe hata kwenye hema lake that is the standard we are talking about Dio Yesu anapoanza injili anasema kwamba time is coming wakati unakuja na wakati una, unafika sasa waabuduo halisi watu wanayo kuabudu wanamwabudu Mungu kwa lengo la kwenda mbinguni watamwabudu sasa katika roho na katika kweli hao ndio Mungu anatafuta watu ambao hawatafuti vitu vya dunia hii watu ambao hawatafuti standards za dunia hii watu ambao hawapimi utakatifu wao na mafanikio ya ulimwengu huu watu ambao wamekana kwamba wao ni wasafiri na ni wapitaji wanatafuta ule muji ambao mwenye kuubuni na mwenye kujenga ni Jehova what are the people god is looking for na biblia inasema kwamba mungu hakuaibika kuitanishwa nao God was not ashamed to be called their God. We are looking for that church. We are looking for that church. Unaweza kusema labda kumeharibika, labda kila kitu kimeharibika hapana pamoja na kwamba kimeharibika. God is still looking for his people. Remember, analijenga kanisa lake akiwa na timanzi mkononi. He is ready to erect the walls that are straight, built by the plumb line in his hand. Biblia inasema huo ndio wakati ambapo Mungu anainua manabii wa siku ya leo watakapokuwa waaminifu watakapokuwa waangalifu ambao hawatafuata standard za dunia hii ambao hawatapimana na vitu vya dunia hii Paulo anasema ulimwengu umesulubiwa kwangu nami nimesulubiwa kwa ulimwengu ulimwengu unapoona maisha ninayoyaishi unaona mimi ni mtu asiye na faida kwa ulimwengu mtu ambao hastahili kuishi duniani hao ndio watu waliobeba injili siku za Biblia siku za mitume na nipoza hata siku ya leo God is still raising the remnant preachers. Mana, manabi, wahubiri, ambao ni mabaki, watakai akilisha kristo bila kuchanganya neno la mungu na mambo ya mwili. Bila kuchanganya mweno la mungu na mafaniki ya dunia hii. Bila kuchanganya vitu vyote. And ya bimile inasema kwamba, bingu na inchi vita ondolewa. Bingu na inchi vitaisha, lakini neno la mungu litadumu. Hilo neno ndio tunastahili kulilinda. That is what made the matter has to die for Christ. Walikuwa wakilinda na wakichunga kusudi la mungu. Walikataa kumukana Yesu. Walikataa kukana kwamba Kristo ndio mkufu ya mungu duniani. Wakakaa, wakasimama na hilo neno, wakalifia. Hilo ndio neno siku ya leo mungu anataa kuliinua siku za mwisho. Hili adilete kanisa, lisilo na mawa, wala kunyasi, kwa mama, vijana, waze, watakaya muishia kristo, ambao hawata yaka tumaini lao, katika vitu inavya onekana, katika mavazu wanayo va, katika majengo walio jenga, lakini kila siku, watakesha mioni mwao. Biblia inasema katika wa korinto wa pili, sura ya pili, sura ya tano mstaru wa kwanza. Inasema kwamba, tunaukua, sisi tunayo tumaini la buwana, Tunaugua we groan in pain. Tunatasamia siku ambayo hile permanent building. Hule mwili unao dumu ambayo mungu ameniandalia ambayo utafunuliwa kwangu. Manake wanaona maisha wanao yaishi na mwili wanao ubeba ni kama hema tu. Ni kama kitu ambayo hakidumu. Siku ya leo lazima macho na yafunguliwa kanisani. Biblia inasema maisha yetu is just like vapor. Ni kama tu mfuke, ni kitu ambacho nchamuda mfupi, lakini mungu anainua kanisa, ambalo litatumainia yeji, ambalo kila siku watakesha, usiku na mchana, wakingojea kumuona yesu, wakingojea kumilaki yesu, yesu mawinguni. Watu ambao watakana bitu vyote vya dunia hii, nataka siku ya leo kukutia moyo kapila sija kuumbea. Today, unaposikia sauti hii, usifanya moyo wako mkumu, kubali kristo, kwamba ye, ndiye tumaini la utukufu mioni mwetu let me pray Bwana Yesu tunakushukuru kwa wote ambao wamesikia neno hili 
ya kwamba utawapa nguvu utawapa mioyo ya kukesha watasimama wakilitumania neno watakataa kutumainia vitu vya dunia hii watasema Jehova wewe ndiye Mungu wewe ndiyo mwokozi wa maisha yao Jehova wape neema na wape ushindi waokoe katika mwili na zaidi sana okoa mioyo yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba nikiamini mimi majina ni Festo Njani na hubiri kanisa la Shalom Gospel Church namba yangu ya simu iko pale kwa kwenye runinga 0700366937 karibu sana may god bless you welcome